Atlanta YouTube, how are we doing? Well, I just thought I'd give a little update on what's going on here. Been home now since, well, Monday. And I'm still weak as can be. I, I, I'm walking better than what I was come Monday, you know. But I'm in a spot where getting up and out of, like, whether it be a chair, bed, what have you, my right, my right calf hurts and hurts bad. And I find that when I go to put my foot down and try to get up, I feel pain from basically the heel of my foot into about where the knee is, right in that general area. And sometimes I scream out in pain like you wouldn't believe. Can't control it. Other times I bite my tongue, and it's hard to bite that tongue. But the walking around and getting around is better. I've got a walker that I do use. It's one of them that was given to dad years and years ago when he was having health problems and then he eventually died. Then mom ended up using it there for a while when she was sick. <coughs> and she ended up, of course, this last July dying. She had cancer, liver and lung cancer. And the cancer, of course, spread. And she, she ended up dying July 31st, just last year, 2022, you know. Well, here I am, using the same old walker. The second round of using the walker, too. First time I used it was in 2019 when I had a hernia surgery. It was an abdominal surgery. And I had to use it then to get around and do my thing. Well, I don't really have to have the walker to get around and do things. My main reason for wanting the walker is to help me get up. I have nothing really when I get up out of bed. If I get up out of a recliner, I've really got nothing to hold on to. That's the reason I want the walker around is so I can grab onto it and have that stability. You know, I don't know if I'm wrong for doing it, but I feel good having it around knowing. For me, it's a whole safety issue. If, if I've got it, I don't have to worry about going down so soon, hitting the ground. And then it's, you know, if brother's around yelling for him for help, if not, well, gee, who knows how long I'm going to lay there. You know, luckily, and you know, this is one time I'm glad we've got a neighbor kid. <coughs> that sometimes sticks his nose where it doesn't belong. He means well. Don't get me wrong, the kid means well. It's just, he's one of them kids that... is an irritant, but yet he's got a heart of gold. And there's times he'll come around, you know, can I help you with anything? Can I do something for you? And there's times, no, I don't need the help. But then there's times, yeah, I do need the help. And I am in the recliner relaxing, so if you, I don't know. I don't know why I even mentioned that. But, uh, the kid is one of them kids where you, it's a, it's, a, I guess, it, the best way I can put it is it's a love-hate relationship type thing. You like having the kid around because he's got a heart of gold, helpful, whatnot, but at the same time, pain on the ass. But, uh. You know, I'm in that spot where if something happened, I know I can count on him. Because he'll come by. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. 
And normally when brother leaves, I leave the door unlocked because if something happens, nobody's got to kick the door down. It's just come on in, you know. I shouldn't be that way because, you know, with the way society's going, getting crazy and all, but at the same time, it's, well, if I'm laying on the ground and somebody's got to come in and help me, well, I'd rather they just come in and help versus kicking a door in, you know. I guess that's where I'm at. And then... I'm in the spot where it doesn't matter to me because I can't really go anywhere anyway. But before I get going on that, home health is coming over tomorrow at noon to uh, do a little rehab. They called earlier. Well, do you want any help? You want our services? Yeah, I'd love to have your services. <laughs> Insurance is paying for it anyway. Well, part of it or... I don't know how it's going to work. I'm sure it's the 80-20 crap because I hadn't read that crap in so long. I don't know how much they pay anymore. I just, whatever bill comes in, just pay it. What the hell? I just tell brother itch and go. If you, if you translate that to uh, English, WTF, you know, itch and go, WTF, you know. Same thing. Whatever. But anyway, Home Health Services is coming over tomorrow to help with rehab. And the nurse is coming over. I heard right. Her name is Gracie. Grace? I can't remember if she said Grace or Gracie. Grace, I think. Anyway. If she's anything like the nurses in the hospital, she'll be good at what she does. But, uh, I forgot where I was going on stuff right now. Anyway. Right now, things are slowly getting better. When I first came home, I was so weak. I couldn't take it. I could walk, let's just say, eight feet. And I, just the asthma, just could hardly breathe. Chest was hurting. And I was heaving. I can, it was just crazy. That's pretty well <coughs> gone away. I still get them coughing fits that, what do you do? Anyway, I don't. You know what, I'm in the spot where I was going to talk to you about something. I railroaded myself. Brother and I are in a spot where, well, he needs a bus pass more than I do. When I get out and use a bus pass, I just do everything, make it count. Maybe twice a week I'll use it. He uses it a little bit more than I do. And I told brother, I said, with the bus pass we got, it's got to get money put onto it. And I'm like, one way or another, we're going to figure something out. And I've got a plan figured out. It's just getting a hold of the proper channels. You know, going through the proper channels to get things done. But I said, other than that, it's just getting out there and beating the streets, doing stuff. Well... He's on board with, you know, getting help, however, getting things done, you know. And I, I'm not, I'm not totally cool with going and getting assistance, but sometimes you need a, you know. And like today, he went out, he has to get some business done. I don't know exactly what, but a couple things I know he's got to get done. And after that, I don't know exactly what he's doing. But anyway, yeah, you know, our biggest thing right now is getting the bus pass issue taken care of, which he gets paid on the 10th of uh, July, 
And he said, well, if we can wait until then, I'm like, yeah. But if you need the bus pass until then, there's no money on it. So we got to figure out how to juggle that into the whole budget that we do have. So right now we're playing on that, trying to figure, well, what's the best way to go, you know? And yeah, I'm thinking without shaking, I'm thinking there's a couple routes we can go. It's just getting a hold of people to see if certain services are around. Uh, well, the one I know is still around. They've got these churches, you know. Well, what they do is you go in, and some of these churches will give gas vouchers, right? Go in there, and they'll give you, you know, 20 25 bucks for gas. But it's in a voucher form. Well, so there's one church that I know is in Moorhead. They not only do gas vouchers, but they do bus vouchers. And the bus vouchers, I believe... You do, they do 30 days at a time. I could be wrong, but I think it's 30 days at a time. <laughs> I told brother, I said, worst case scenario, if we can't figure out this on our own, hit them up. I hate doing it, but hit them up. I don't really like, I don't like that idea either. I'm just, I always look at it as somebody else needs the help more than I do. Somebody else always needs the help more than me. That's why I don't like going down that road unless I have to. And brother's sitting back going, well, we've got, well, he went and got a hold of the place, found out they only do uh, that type of stuff with the vouchers and that on Mondays. And I don't remember what times he said it was like, I think uh, one to four, noon to four, something like that. But he says, well, let's try to figure out stuff before we have to do that. And he says, worst case scenario, if we have to do it, we have to do it. And when times look better, we can always give back. He says, it doesn't hurt. So right now we're just looking at, gee, <laughs> what are our options here? You know, do we have enough? Because we can do... You know, if we wanted to, we could throw 20 bucks on, and that would get us by. We could pretty much, I think, as long as it's a minimum of $5 increments, we're golden. I think it has to be $5 increments on the bus pass. But right now, I told brother, I said, well, even if we don't do the bus pass, as long as we have enough, like if you... If, like, one of us goes to the store, it's three bucks round trip. So, as long as you got three bucks on you, four and a half bucks, eh, you're golden. As long as you got the three and a half bucks to get there and back. And, brother, well, I don't really need that because I got the bike. Okay, if you want to ride a bike, do it. That's the way I look at it. You want, instead of taking a bus to and from the store, it's a mile and a half one way. Brother, while well, riding a bike's not that bad. I've I've personally ridden bike that mile and a half to Walmart, Aldi, cash wise, whatnot to go get groceries. It really isn't that bad of a ride. So he says, well, that's one way of saving money, and he doesn't use the bus that often. So he he says, well, I could just take a bike. He says it's not that big of a deal to ride bike. Pretty much wherever. Oh, that calf hurts. Oh, I really need to get up and get some exercise in, but without anybody around, I get scared too. Anyway, I hope everybody has a good day. Hope everybody's doing well so I just thought I'd give a little update on what's going on in my life 
not that it matters, but, you know, <coughs> I'm sure somebody somewhere might want to know a little something, 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 something. I'm so shaky. Shaky McGee. But, uh, yeah. I suppose here, I suppose it's late for breakfast. Depending on what time it is. <laughs> Got a couple eggs I can fry up. Got a few slices of bread. Couple eggs. What the hell? Brother's talking about hitting up the store anyway, so... I don't know. Depending on how I feel, I'll make an egg sandwich. That reminds me how long do eggs last in the fridge? If My biggest question is, if they've been in there a week, are they still good? I'm just curious. Just like milk. Like, uh, how long does that last in the fridge? I've got a half a gallon of milk in the fridge. Been there a week. Been using up milk a lot, but it's just ever since I've been in the hospital. Brother doesn't use milk much. I don't know. He's just not much of a milk person. Well, well I'm not much of a milk person, but I like cooking with it. But uh, I was kind of thinking of making a... Uh, homemade hamburger helper again and I thought if the milk's still good well I could always taste it too but uh make a homemade hamburger helper if I have to I'll recruit brother to help me if not I'm sure there's Always something a guy can make. Uh, goes from there. But anyway, it's been a little over 17 minutes, so I'll let you all go, alright? Love, peace, and bacon grease.